Money man! Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. I actually wrote a poem. I wanted to commemorate this double or nothing series. I wrote this poem for you guys. Now listen, you can totally plagiarize this for your English class too. If you got like a poem assignment or something, I don't know why you would. I don't know what you're, what you're learning in high school nowadays. Only thing I know about high school is what my girlfriend tells me. Help her with her whoa, geometry whoa, whoa, homework whoa, sometimes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. I'm not writing this down anywhere, right? It's verbal. It's verbal. So if you gentlemen want, you can just take, you know, you can take what I'm saying and use it for your own good. Are you ready? I am rich and you are poor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not a big deal. It's all right. I call that a domer too, straight off the dome. Oh, shit. Can I formally say I'm rich here on Double or Nothing? Welcome back, gentlemen. This is Double or Nothing, where we started with 40,000 coins to build a team. And every single time we won a game, we got to double that coin stack. Which leads us to episode number four, where we've got 320,000 coins to spend on one single team. Now, with 320,000 coins divided by roughly 20-ish players that we got to grab for the squad, that's 16,000 per player. Player. Obviously, I'm not going to necessarily adhere to that. But the good thing to note is most core elite players are about five, six, seven, eight thousand coins. We'll most likely have an elite at every single position. Also, can we just say something real quick? Can we just say something real quick? I got some amazing editors on my team. Can we just give? Can we just do one, one little slurp off for the editors? I love you guys, and the boys love you too. Whoa. And for today's episode, I think I'm going to go with the carry strategy, which is where a few really good players carry this team and the rest are kind of budget players, more or less. And I'm going to start that with the quarterback. And honestly, an amazing, well-rounded quarterback in this game is Geno Smith. Probably the best quarterback that the Seattle Seahawks have had in the last 20 years. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. And before you say shit, bro, I just watched the Broncos Colts game, okay? I, I saw seven field goals get put up by two Pro Bowl quarterbacks. It's Geno's season. He's actually really well-rounded and a very good quarterback. 76 speed is faster than most. It's not super fast, but his accuracies are all very good. 82 plus everywhere. I really like Geno Smith. We're not really breaking the bank either. I mean, 35,000 coins is over our average, but I mean, still, we're going to be fine with this. Geno Smith, 35,000 coins. I think it'll be fun to have him as quarterback too. A halfback I've always wanted to use, who I really don't know how good he is, but is perfect here for this carry squad, is Dalvin Cook. Exact same price as Gino. That's kind of weird. Uh, but what I love about this Dalvin Cook, number one, 84 speed, 83 excel. So way better than J.K. Dobbins that we had previously, but mainly I'm looking here at break tackle. 84 break tackle is really high. So I'm going to go with Dalvin Cook. So our backfield right now is Geno Smith and Dalvin Cook. Undoubtedly the best backfield we've had. I have to go with Koye here. This is actually a really good price for him, so I'm gonna buy it real quick. The Nigerian Nightmare! I fucking love Okoye. He's literally one of my favorite cards in this whole game. To get his 83 overall for 15k is actually a really good price. He's insane. I think the last position I'm going big time on, tight end. Man, I do this every single episode, but tight end is so important. I'm actually gonna go with Jelani Woods. He's six foot seven, 252. This is like a budget beast Donald Parham. Donald Parham's like still pretty cheap. Dude, 10k coins for a six, seven tight end. I'm going Jelani Woods. Why receivers. This Bateman is literally the best wide receiver for this prize, so I'm gonna have to double up on him again. I apologize that you guys had to see some players a few too many times, but they're so good for the value that I just have to do it. He's an 85 speed, 85 excel, 7,000 coin wide receiver. Another wide receiver I really want is Herman Moore. He's not very expensive, but this is a very good surefire catching wide receiver because he's big, dude. 6'4", 210. This is kind of like my security blanket at wide receiver. So that's two solid wide receivers, and I'm just gonna take one more budget beast wide receiver and this is like a true budget beast no shocker here but mccall hardman is one of the fastest wide receivers in mud he's actually a gold 3500 is actually kind of expensive for him he's usually not that expensive but 85 speed hopefully he'll beat man coverage if he really has to so that's offense locked up except for o-line and we haven't even hit the halfway point yet because the halfway point here is 160k so we're doing great right now. i'm just gonna get the cheapest o-line i can get and then i'll spend the rest on defense and i might potentially actually buy a kicker this time 81 munoz i'm gonna go garrett bowles Left guard will go Randall McDaniel, 81 overall. Center, we're getting Hilgenberg for 7-7. Dude, you can get 83 Robert Hunt for 16K. Damn, dude, Robert Hunt's good. So this will put me a little bit over 160K, but I love having an 83 up there. And then Taylor Moten for only 8,000 coins. Dude, and just wait until like the full-fledged Halloween promo 
when Christmas promos hit, Double or Nothing would be fucking crazy because the market is so tanked. That's why last year I didn't do Double or Nothing till like February. I will probably bring it back later on in the season. I just don't know when yet. Yes, I, I, I gotta focus yes, on making this season amazing first, right? Also, <laughs> I've got three mystery boxes here. You guys know I love my mystery boxes. These all come from Bespoke Post. They're sponsoring today's video, and I can't wait to see what's inside. Now, Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club. They deliver awesome boxes with top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join, and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. There's so many different things to choose from with Bespoke Post, and every month they introduce their members to really cool new products. Outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen, clothing, and it's it's all based on a preference quiz that you can fill out. Each box has got like $70 worth of goods, but it's only gonna cost you a fraction of the price. Let me show you. Oh, this is the cask kit. I thought this was so cool. Before it's shipped, you'll get a box assigned to you and a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge at all. You only pay for what you want. I was so excited for this one. Let me show you what's inside. This right here, a miniature cask, complete with a bottle, labels, and everything I need to set it up. I'm 100% putting alcohol in this and just leaving it in my kitchen. I might get it engraved. Let me show you another one. This is the Explore Kit. I wanted to be surprised by this one. I saw it was outdoor gear and that's it. I got survival headlamp, the Nomad Packable Backpack. Got a little granola bar in here. Fire water bottle, look at this. You get the idea for awesome new products delivered right to your door. You gotta check out Bespoke Post. And I can get you a discount to get 20% off your first box. Click the link in the description box and enter code MMG at checkout. Or you can go to bespokepost.com forward slash MMG for the same deal. Check it out. It's a blast to see a Bespoke Post box arrive at your doorstep. I know you guys will love it. And enjoy the rest of the video. All right, offense is good. Let's look at a few defense positions and let's go hit a best lineup and, and come back to the drawing board. Dude, you know what I really want to do for this episode is get an awesome D-line. I've been taking D-line so not seriously. Dude, DeForest Buckner, 14K, that's a really good price for him, actually. That's a little cheap for him. To me, the most important stat for D-tackles is block shit. BSH right there, 83 is awesome. One of my favorite ends in the game, too, who's a budget beast, the 82 overall all Madden Bruce Smith. Wow, there's none on the auction house. That should tell you just how dog shit packs are, that they literally like certain players that just don't even exist. Speaking of which, and of course, if you need coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and then quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is gonna offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. That's instantmaddencoins.com. Just use the link in the description. If I can't go with him, I'm going with my next favorite who's a little bit more expensive, but still amazing, Chase Young. Every single Chase Young card is amazing. The 80, the 83, and the 87. I'm gonna go the 83, because I think I have the bread for it. Now, before I go any crazier, let's get a user and then some corners. He might be too expensive, dude, but there is a user who is so good. Von Bell, 86 overall. He's 47K. Can I afford that? He's so nasty. 87 speed, 88 excel. There's not a single card even in the vicinity of these stats. I'll bread it up! He's 5'11", so he's not the biggest strong safety, but 87 speed, 88 excel. You literally aren't finding anything close to that. Now, ironically, we have these positions left to fill, and I'm sitting here with basically 80K, which was my whole budget for episode two. And I have some good options. One really good corner. Dude, I don't know what it is with the Chiefs, but the Chiefs just pump out these awesome high-speed corners for us in Mutt. Jalen Watson. This is the guy who picked off Herbo, took it all the way back to the crib. 6'2", 84 speed, 86 excel. That's an amazing corner card for 7,000 coins. Gridiron Guardians blessed us with a very... Very cheap, greedy Williams. 83 speed, 82 excel, he's 6 foot 2. And he's a gold, which makes his price even cheaper, cheaper. So, awesome card. Oh my god, I finally have enough money to where I can do this. Dude, quite literally one of the best corners in the game. I'm not even kidding. This is one of the best corners in the game. 14,000 coins for 82 overall Caleb Farley. 87 speed, 86 excel. He can hang with anybody, he can cover. Like, you could almost justify using this on an endgame team, like currently. No, he's not 2 million coin, 91 overall champ. Bailey, but are you kidding me? For 17,000 coins, this card is cracked. So I've been trying to get my hands on that card for a while. We still got 55,000 coins. I just got linebackers and uh, free safety right now. Oh, I do need another strong safety though, because Von Bell will be my user. Now, honestly, I think Rod Woodson is a better option, but as a tribute to Javon Holland, the limited that I pulled a long time ago, I want to go my free safety as Javon Holland. He's still really good, 83, 84. He's kind of tall, but I think realistically, you'd want Rod Woodson here. Rod Woodson is super 
super physical. And my backup strong safety, if he's not too slow, I'm gonna go with the Bam Bam Cam. That'll be a pretty dope backup safety. I might have just burnt myself a little bit here because he's only 81 speed. I probably could have gotten someone 83 or 84 speed for the same price. I'm gonna go hit best overall lineup. I have not bought a kicker yet, and I feel like I might be missing a position, although off the dome, I don't know. Generate best lineup. Let's see what we're looking at right now. 81 overall. That's so amazing. I think last episode we were a 78. So we're plus three on this. And I'm not even done yet. So taking a look at the offense, I think we made some of the best pickups we've ever made. The Sequoia is a huge pickup. Geno Smith's best quarterback we've ever used. I mean, duh, we have more coins, but still. Dalvin Cook, I don't know how I feel about that decision. I think in hindsight, you know, I already bought him, but I almost think I could have ran the Sequoia at halfback. I would have saved coins that way and could have spent a little more elsewhere. A big wide receiver and two super speed demons. And then Jelani Woods, literally just a moss machine. Awesome offensive line, 81, 81, 83, 81. Then on defense, I need to buy a new linebacker. Ted Hendricks is because there's this like Hispanic Heritage Month promo. So it's already on the account. So that doesn't count. So disregard everything at linebacker. I completely forgot about linebacker. Holy shit. I'm glad I have 27K left. D-line should just be Buckner, Chase Young. So I don't have a right end either. There's no way for me to get rid of Eric Allen. He's stuck on the team. I can't quick sell him, so... So with 27,000 coins left, I need a right end, three linebackers. Dude, Tremaine Edmonds is awesome. He's huge. 6'5", 250. He's not a true user, but that's okay. Von Bell is my true user. He's an awesome pure linebacker. Now, my outside linebackers do get a lot of use, especially in nickel. They come off that edge hot. Lawrence Taylor? When I think of a guy that I want coming off the edge, I think 82 overall Lawrence Taylor is certainly one of those guys. Although, I did just overspend a little bit. I'm getting a little aggressive with my, with my spending here. I've got 11,000 left between left outside and right end, and it looks like I'm not getting a kicker. Look who's here. Look who just went up on the auction house. Bruce Smith, the one I wanted from before. Hey, if you just bitch about something long enough, it'll get fixed. Although I just spent 2002 on a left outside linebacker. Left outside linebacker. We got 1,450 coins. So even though I'm breaded up, I'm still gonna have a poverty outside linebacker, but I don't care. I don't think you're even gonna notice. So what's the best we can get with our poverty budget here? We get Brennan Scarlett, maybe? I get Jameer Jones. Anybody know Jameer Jones? We're going Jalen Phillips. He's kind of trash, but I like Jalen Phillips. Not the best ending to my spending spree, but I gotta manage my money better. See, I, I went crazy on Von Bell. I bought Bruce Smith impulsively. All right, final team overall is an 80, which I'm bummed about. Although if I had done this more evenly, I probably could have just built an 82 overall team, but I think we built our team to win. And that's what I love. Strong points and weak points. That's the important thing. Strong point, I think we can run the ball super effectively. I think Gino's gonna be able to deliver passes to just about everybody. And Jelani Woods is a good safety blanket if I'm getting boxed like a fish. On defense, our strong points, our O-line is really good. Bruce Smith, Chase Young, our pass rush should be really good with Lawrence Taylor and those guys. DeForest Buckner can clog the middle. My corners are awesome, and my safeties are insane. I think linebackers are a weak point, especially our pass pro for our linebackers. I don't think Tremaine Edmonds is particularly good at pass pro. Lawrence Taylor certainly isn't known for his pass pro. Jalen Phillips is ass, and Darian Beavers, do I need to say anything else? We also don't have a very good special teams unit, but Robert Hunt is our long snapper, so that's something. Other than that, I feel absolutely spectacular about this episode. Double or nothing, episode number four. Let's see what we got for competition on our episode number four. This is my 320k coin squad. Sick, EA. Holy shit. Holy shit. I know an 11-year-old who can run this game better. Your team is poverty. He's got Herbert, and he's taking off with Sanders. Whoa. Also, I don't want to say this preemptively. I'm not assuming I'll get a rage quit, but I do have an idea for rage quits. I have, I have concocted a new idea that I think will be really good. Uh, so if we can get that to happen, I'll let you guys know what it is. Jet sweep, jet sweep, jet sweep. Edmonds, Edmonds, you're slow, but I believe. All right, Lawrence Taylor, you got to come off the edge. This is a pass. I'm on Jalen Phillips. He throws. We got it. Wait, who is? Oh, Jalen Watson. I saw Watson and I was thinking of my Lord and Savior, Deshaun. Jalen Watson with an AI. All right, we may see a rage quit. Ooh, I like, I like Bateman. Torched him. Oh, that ball was a little bit behind him, low key. I think if that ball's in front of him, we can take off. Jelani Woods, we gotta go. He torched him. What a beautiful man coverage beater. I'm gonna block Dalvin Cook and I'm gonna step up a little bit in this pocket. Good, step up, step up. Deliver! <laughs> And then, like, how is it perfect accuracy if he missed? Still man coverage. Jelani Woods on fourth down. Hard cut. 
I literally just ran the same play four times, and on the fourth time, it worked. So he's not going to man up. Jelani Woods just going to dot him up. Well done, Gino. Love to see that. Let's go get our rage quit. First and 10. Let's just get this ball back so we can force this rage quit. We're going to send heaters. Heaters after heaters. Let's go, Von Bell. I love this Von Bell, dude. He's so fast. He rocked by Von Bell. Third and seven. All right, third and seven. I got to peel off to the left to get the INT. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, no. Ah. RJ spams. Why are you chewing the clock against me? Call a timeout, baby. RJ, what are you doing, RJ? You're on offense, RJ. You don't have to race quit right now. I believe RJ has left his Xbox. I think he's hoping I'll quit. Sorry, RJ, you're not going to get a win like that, buddy. This is exciting, though. I have a new rule to implement. This might be our golden opportunity to do it. Bingo, the connection to your peer has been lost. Let's talk. Last year, what I did if my opponent rage quit was I got to carry one player over to the next episode of Double or Nothing. However, I don't think that's fair because, like, this game... I just sucked. Like, I didn't earn that at all, but I do get a win. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play another game. If I win this game, I get to carry a player on to the next episode. If I lose, I don't. So already we can build our next squad. Wait a second. I need to see his top three. Von Bell, Geno Smith, Dalvin Cook. He's got, we got some competition, boys. That's what I like to see. So I'm definitely moving on to next episode, which will be 650,000 coins. However, for me to carry a player over, I got to win this game. Thought that was right at the user, but the user's on the other side. User made a really good play there. We still get six yards, though. He might expect the same thing, so now I'm gonna go stretch. Damn, his linebacker's up in the middle there, though. I don't like that. Bro! Oh my god, would it kill you? Would it kill you? Oh my god, would it kill you to remove your head from the inner depths of your asshole? You penetrated your asshole so deeply you don't know which body part is which. I can control you like a fucking puppet. How far your head's up your asshole? <laughs> I was just in such a good game. He got so damn lucky. I was about to score again. 14 to 13. Ah! I'm going one more for Geno Smith. For this squad, I'm going one more. This will determine if a player carries over or not. I guess we got a warm-up game in. Now we're taking on Bledsoe, Johnson, and Bits. Even better squad. It's still fucking piss poor EA bullshit. But last year, dude, I couldn't even get through a season of Wheel of Mutt. There's so many games DC'd in the middle, and, and uh -huh. it just gave me a loss every time. Hit him with the play action. Start this game out. Oh, my God. He's a user D-line, and he is Geno. Oh, my God, Geno. I wasn't even ready to stay in balance because I didn't think that was humanly possible, but I could have ran for way more. Uh, I gotta go Dalvin. Nice throw. Nice catch. Just barely. Fourth and five. I'm in a tough spot already in this game. Our progression is Herman Moore or Jelani Woods, depending on what this coverage is. Man coverage, Jelani Woods. Literally got to me so fast, I couldn't even throw it. Now I'm pretty grateful I got that rage quit on the first game, dude. Edmonds? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is this how this video is gonna go? Man, oh man. This is just giving me like mega super AIDS. Not, not normal AIDS. This isn't the Magic Johnson type, bro. This is mega super ultra AIDS. I'm getting cheese man blitzed by one of the best teams you could buy. And I was just in a game that I could win? There's, there's Bateman. Hey, nice play, but that's fourth and one. He's definitely going man blitz here. I think Jelani Woods on the whip route's probably the move here. Fourth and one. Big conversion. Wait for Jelani. Nice route to Jelani Woods. And yeah, he's got the best team in the game. So he's probably going to catch me down. But hey, that was a hell of a play. Good conversion. Dalvin. Beauty. Beauty. Ow. Let's go, Dalvin. Uh-oh, that's a blitz. He'll pick it up. Hey, Dalvin. Three rushes, four yards. Not the best that line, but we're fighting, man. We are fighting. There it is. Great whip. Shit. I thought he was going to dive and I could go behind him. And it just didn't work. Whoa. Did he run commit? He might have accidentally run commit. Let's go. Gino sniffed it out and delivered it right over the linebacker's head. Great play. We're looking at seven to seven. Uh-uh. By a kicker, ladies and gentlemen. I, my meter wasn't even that far off. It was kind of off, but it wasn't that far off. <laughs> Probably just going to go to the run game. No, I would. Yup, he does, but we're there. Oh, nice play by the user. Oh my God, really nice play by the user. He read those blocks so well, and I saw it late. Dude, you can't be mad about that. When they make a good play, you just got to say, GG, just walk it off. Cam? Oh, I missed. God, these guys are tackle-breaking machines. It's only a second pass. <sighs> That's a sketchy pass. Nice play, but I, I think we can actually stop him on defense. Those are all good plays, but we were, we were there every once in a while. Not really. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, you deserve to. You, des you deserve to showboat. I tried to throw that to A. I'm used to that being RB, and I clicked RB. Idiot. A! I'll go shoot with the hurdle. Fourth and two. Nice conversion. Ooh, free play? Don't mind if I do. It's not, man. He, he clicks on way too early every time. <laughs> Got a little sticky there. All right, we're kind of icing him up now. We're, we're back to playing well. It's a 51 yard field goal. Can KD York hit that? KD York can't hit this. I don't think KD York can hit this. I have to go one more play out of bounds. We need a nice out route here. Bateman. Bateman, can you give me a beautiful out route over there? Oh, he's there. He's there. Yes, catch it, Bateman. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to. Oh, it's such a basic out route. I'm third and six. How are you not in bounds? What a fucking bummer, dude. Just go up to Jelani Woods. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I'm gonna save you guys and myself the pain of continuing this game. Hey, J move from the game I DC'd out of. Look at this. I said GZ's sorry DC'd. He said you good GG. Good man. Wow, so after today's episode, I have now two losses on the record. One a DC and one a true loss. That sucks. Well, clearly we're not carrying a player over to the next episode, but that's okay because when I come back next episode, I'll have 640,000 coins to build one team. I'll have an amazing attitude. I'll be ready to go and we'll have a great time. So boys, I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.